Awesome. So I get to do that all over again. Uh, okay, sounds good. So any questions so far? Sound like a good plan? Nobody's asleep yet, so we're, we're better than the class at least. All right, so we will talk first then about an overview of my lab, because this is uh, just to get this out of the way, a little bit different. Uh, so I'm an organic right? And that's kind of training and solid background, but largely I kind of transitioned into sort of all things extended structure, right? So we make materials. At the end of the day, that really what we're good at and passionate about. For us, I think we want to know the mission, right? We want traditional science and things that are all frameworks, so these extended course structures, thinking about different applications for those. Um, but, you know, as we make these things, I think we tend to be able to do it. We're making them for a purpose. How does the function that they do on the real dimensions map out how we use them here in the future? Right? So that's how the thing that they're doing with the materials chemistry work. Um, but then as you see today, labor and the labor of the things that we know so for us, that more of us want to be back to the choice of the class, which is more of a one of the things that we do. Um, and as you see today, I'll talk very briefly about how extra techniques have largely um, been limited to access to students, right? So I don't know how many of you are going to be talking about today. How many of you are going to be talking about today? Just mute. Oh, wow. Okay. Anybody else coming in the class? Anybody know what's in the class? You can have us in the room. Who doesn't know what's in the room? Okay, so these are one of the things. So we'll talk about that later. Um, but because these techniques have largely been limited to this, um, with some products, with the things that we've been talking about, about around having access to extra right? Um, right, so what my lab does is um, we think about you know, at the, at the end of the day, we're doing right, we're designing materials, we're designing these materials so that we can get an idea of how electrons and ions flow within the solid state. So, hopefully, that resonates with a lot of you, right? A lot of you think about mass transport, electrons transport in different materials. So, we're going to be thinking about the frequency, right? I think our is the equation of all of Those are the things that, that kind of get me up in the morning and get me excited, is thinking about not just how can I understand it, but how can I manipulate it and control it and bend it to my will, right? To get a little bit Machiavellian with it, I guess. Um, and so the two types of systems that we think about are sort of important. Right? So we think about materials that are not natural. These materials we have pores, very, very large pores. You can see the structures over here, right? By by mass, so mostly the most of the materials are not natural. And these materials have some certain degree. We make materials like that, and we use these as a way to study ion work. In, in a sense that it's not oscillated. And we also make electrons, and these are sort of a condensed value that sort of sit on the electrons that are total around the energy fields, right? So it's a weird kind of thing that we do that. But one of the things that we do is in projects that we have going on in the lab, right? We're thinking about mixed ion electron conducting metal organic frameworks. So if anybody's working in sort of bioelectronics, yeah. Oh, yeah, good question. Um, totally the same thing. So I appreciate that. Uh, if I see the then I have an audience. Right? So I know people can actually probably use this one. Because the chlorine is a little bit more high, but I think it's not a good CL. Here's our CL on the right? So what happens is not that it's going to be able to treat it as a CL. But these are materials in opposition to So some of you might have heard of the HF, which is right? It happens that it's a CL. So if you go back to the enzyme and think about our gas, I think in the case it's two plus, oxygen two minus. So you have four plus and two minus. So how does that go? Right? And the way that it works is that there are electrons in the structure which act as ions. So if you look at this one, you have an electron that is totally unassociated with the ion that is sitting in the first few atoms of all the salt. So the work that you do in the analysis are around that scene. Right, so they all these metals by electrons. The electron we just take one thing to do that. So that's a really large chemically uh relevant system, right? Yeah, the solid is more stable, uh at room temperature, and a lot of them can make more stable than here. Uh so the compositions that we made so far, a lot of ones that are made in our room for each of the fours, HF2S, H2O, ZF2O, ZF2S, uh, CHN. 
things like that. It's a very charged and balanced set of siblings. Um, we're working with this story. Um, we can still try to do these on the title. Having a story for the video, so you can get something that's just going to be able to see it again. Right, so we make mix, make mixed ion electron conductors. So there's electrochemistry that goes into this. Um, we do site isolated radicals for, for a lot of uh, quantum sensing and things like that. Um, we do electrochemical desalination, um, and then we also do hydrogen storage, right? And use electrides. We do total chemistry to try to stabilize the structure and use phase sort of in an indirect way and expand the material of power. Um, and then we also do anion chemistry, right? So while all of you are probably thinking about lithium, sodium, and using and tungsten zinc. All that stuff that we think that happens with the not really everyone is doing that too. Um, but I really think we need to solve the experiments and that's kind of what excites me. Okay, so moving on, we'll get to the ball. Did we mention the first pattern? What we call the last pattern? All right, so design of the materials. Um, I don't need to motivate this to all of you, right? We can talk about why thinking about batteries is important, why designing better cathode materials is important. Um, you know, really, I think that, especially this year, I think it was Sweden, right, just announced that they're putting out with the chemical materials, right? So there are countries that are way ahead of the people in the system that really are important. Um, but I think even more so, there, you know, now that we've kind of built up a lot of a battery industry, people are also starting to think about recycling issues and issues of materials criticality and that sort of stuff. And so I think that there's it's important to design that it's a bit tough, higher than I think you guys do, but it's also really small. And then a lot of them are variable and recycling and things like that. So there's all kinds of things across the supply chain that are that are really, really important. Um, right, so there's things that we think about at sort of systems level, right? We think about specific energy, specific power, recycle life, uh, environmental footprint, all that kind of stuff. Um, but all of that is very, very important. But when I think about the site, I always think about the context of this the same thing. You want to put your hand in the hand, you want to put it in the to figure out. And so this is this really around it, right? Um, so for me, right, some options that I do, I think this is. So it's just thinking about modeling the material, right? But really, what it is is it's a game of darts, right? It's a game of darts. It's thinking about how do we pair these patterns and these patterns to make a new structure that stores the energy. It's not an easy thing. Um, you have to think about a lot of different things, and we'll go into a couple of those today. It's the way that I thought about these in my past research, the way I think about them now. Um, right, and, and and some points that I'd like to make is that in, as a materials chemist, right, most of you are looking at some new working patterns and patterns. What do you learn in a solution? Shout out your favorite pattern material. I told you I have an interesting introduction to your life. What do you find possible to learn? What pattern material do you learn? Thank you. 
tenancy, exactly. So it's, it's a lot of business tenancies, right? And the reason for that is because they're very rich, right? And so most people are working on optimizing the system. Um, there's a lot of ways to go about this in terms of sort of new materials discovery, right? As you're pairing these things together, what you have to think about is not just criticality, not just environmental friendliness, not just toxicity and things like that. But you also have to think about how, when I pair these things together, do I modulate the controls? Because you can predict the other thing is to get a total factor that can't Right? Because what you're dealing with structural degrees of freedom, spin, charge degrees of freedom, atomic, lattice, all of these different fun things, right? Uh, and a great example of that is things that I've worked with in the past, Canadian oxides, right? Um, the way these things work is because of the charge uh, coupled in the system, the patterns and the electrons coupled in the structure, uh, and generate a lot of these transformations that really limit the capacity of the And so there are things that when you go to them, and you think that they're like so they have to go back to your life, and you actually get into that as you start to work. So how do you go back to the ground work? How do you go back to the power of the periodic table and say, I'm going to design something better? Okay. Right, just as an example of this, um, some of the first cathode materials that were discovered, right? Lithium, uh, it's a little cheap, lithium sulfide. How many batteries in the market are using lithium sulfide? Actually, it's all this. It's basically this kind of thing. It's cute, but roughly the market share of the time operating in the last 10 years, you know, and that's the other thing. And lithium sulfide. Uh, okay, so right, so this is one of the here that Stan Whitting can actually work on, right? Just picking him off. He said, "This is going to be the best I ever do. Make it some very physical capital, right?" So there's different things you have to do. There's iterations of the problem to that, right? Um, and of course, coming back to the materials, right? There's all kinds of issues. Okay, so let's go into operating principles of the lithium battery. Um, this is not new to most of you, so I'm not going to belabor this point. Um, but largely the perspective that I can make this from is that the way that I use this kind of iterate and design and improve upon these and the function is more like packet stuff, right? The end of side is really hard to do. Everybody's pushing towards the power of lithium, right? Some of you might be working in solid state lithium batteries and things like that. Uh, so the lithium side as the end of side, that's the way it's done. So but for me, how can I iterate and design these to get down to measure the intensity and the power of these that kind of thing? Um, okay, and so largely there's all kinds of systems that I have to come over. And so the point that I'm going to make today, later on in talking, the case in the this, um, is that all of these issues that you probably all think about, right? These are all the issues that take place in that time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, if you want this coming, you want to stop. And so you can think about chemically. Yeah. Uh, it's the electrode interface with the, the, the salt, right? So it's it's what happens is when you have something like lithium TFSI and propane, what happens is on the surface of the atom, that's the rest. I'm going to keep this. Um, as you apply the potential to your cell, the electric electrons don't actually have to make the ability to cause the ability to make the ability to make the So, how do you get that sort of direction of the energy of your cells? You're eventually going to solve the pros, and you can track this as an uncertainty in that it's going to be checked from the community, polarizing section, putting off sides, things like that. And the key is that you want to stop something, and both the energy that you want to be electronically insulated and better and operating better. But all of that things have potential, right? And we talk about the gaps in the cells. How do you think about the decomposition of products, right? So, I can see it. And then you need to make me so you know what it is like that. And I can see that it's not just not good enough for me. So, that's roughly what you do. Roughly what I think. Right? There's things like four water, which is being complicated. There's things like fracking, right? And then there's the DNA emission, which is very common in the layer of materials, right? These go on to a certain velocity, and that's where you see this sort of DNA emission. You're repeated exactly the time and the cycle. So, we can take that. Again, the first thing I'm going to show you right here is that all this comes back to a little structure. All right, so in V205, right, we've seen this. I'm just going to highlight a little bit of the work uh, in the past before we come on to the, um, the technique and sort of get into the meat of what we're talking about, right? 
Um, right. So in, in terms of study of the two apollo, uh, when you're making a confidence here that we can get from the evidence to see if each of them seems to be right. So a lot of the system model is outside of the answer. I tend to live in this area mostly at some particle and mystic level and things like that. Um, but I would argue that all of this seems to be right. It's a cycle of energy and you can't make like any point of it. Um decades of time scale, decades of length scales that matter. And so the question is, can we take advantage of analytical techniques to get at some of the things that happen in the future? And what I'm going to show you is that they actually matter all the way to the next chapter. Okay. So we have to think about all these things, right? Um, so let's let's have another thing to do. We need to find So how do I think about designing the cathode field? So this is a really great paper. We told the talk one. We did. We got a nice paper from the design for it. So the paper is titled something like Understanding Potentials in Cathode Space. Really great. And it's not going to give you how you think about the list of the design. It's really great. It's really short. It's really long. It's higher than you. So we're going to have to think about the design of the material relative to the electrical. Right? So we can talk a lot about solid stability and electrical stability. What does that actually mean? Right? And what about when we got to this one top So depending on where the information is a capital wire, it should be off that this is a camera. That really turns out a lot of the was kind of the way that. So it turns us off the here. Um, so this kind of stuff matters in case you don't need to go offside right and then you can have Spoken permeant, where it's an voltage in the room that's on it. Where the density is used, which I'll go through the office on the division of the material. And I start to populate these kind of states up there in the SA states. I start to have this one issue that I said. So you have to think about it. You're matching capitals and you're matching them with uh, electric electrodes. What else do you have to think about? I'll move it here after you. But the thing about a lot of things, right? Uh, so it's not just the media thing, but I think you have to think about data and you have to think about how expensive these things are, how they are. Uh, it is a good job of saying that it's suitable for that reason, so that the world is just being nice to have a piece of paper. I don't know if it's that. Uh, that was a really smart area. Um, but there's all kinds of different considerations that come into the system that we keep on the development that limit the issue there. There are still a couple of different questions that we can think about. Um, there is something interesting about cobalt on this. This is where we're asking. So, the captures I did in the room here at the city of the CDU, that was the water. And so, there's a number of conditions right now. How is it? I don't know. 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 How
Okay, and then you think about this, and you sort of start to think about these things, right? Because at the end of the day, you think about damage and density. What things can you play around with to decrease the damage? Right, you think about just raw health and failure. What do you need to add to improve the damage and decrease the damage? Why are you pushing it? So that's a system technique. On material, since it's basically the same thing, it's because of the knowledge of the skill right? If you can get the same amount of damage and the same potential out of the last material, the concern, what you do is you can use the level of energy to achieve the level of the cell. On the material, right? you're thinking about can you increase the voltage of that cell there, increase the energy source, and if you can increase the number of units that you have in the future. Um, if it's another question you store it, potentially you store them, and you use our mass that will all be the same. And so when you're doing that, it's just going to be about various skills. I just thought very, very valid. You can actually look from one spot, why do you edit on different pathways, right? And you can make very good sense. Where I love the feedback for the potential is that you get out of these things. They all track that potential, right? So when people who do all this deal and thinking about that stuff, you can rationalize this. These potential based on how many gas based on the DLS and count that's inserted into that and that sort of thing, right? So I'll come back to the structure of what's happening as a function of putting electrons into the system. Another way to think about this is useful. Uh, it's something that uh, how what material can I actually feasibly theoretically use to get at the value, right? So if I'm using something like the material, there's only a certain amount of material that I have. Use that could ever get it done, right? And so, just thinking about metrics and bringing that to the chemistry is a really useful part. This is why all of these systems, right? Or just the never be the best copy of the other team, but I don't know because it's just a thing, right? We call them the kind of thing that I didn't want to do about the potential, right? Just building being that one in the top is very, very important. And so, to me, again, really helpful to kind of the resource and thinking about how you have to have some sort of stuff in this very thing. Uh, and then you can look at the two and the two is that obviously the wind can be a principal material in this issue, but the can can be used to use some of the oxygen solvers or like solid means and phosphorus solvers. Um, you see the real impact the potential that you get. Right? So if you think about this iron and you saw all this that are made of iron before you got that right? you can actually impact the direction based on the kind of energy. So these things can all be hard for all many things. These are these things to how we select and edit the things. And so what I'm going to be talking about really after lunch is the use of considerations that are not to be Right? And these are the things that go into those chemists and materials and the scientists that are the candidate for the And think about design and value. These are what it means. But when you actually get into that, can you actually grow the ground? And that's the number of things that we're talking about here. Okay. Um, all right, and then kind of lastly, and this is a really great paper, really, really rich. Another sort of link between the chemistry that goes on and actual failure. Right? So when you think about actual failure and mechanisms, one of the major things that we as chemists think about is the metal issue, right? Uh, so it turns out that you start with batteries. Certain elements have been put around these and you can just keep holding them for decades. For example, right? As a chemical mechanism, it's a generator that we need to be at a new down total. Right, so I thought it was all this sort of overall crystal change in the two layers back and then to a bunch of balls. Yeah, and right, the energy of those environments, all the decomposition will start to happen if you weaken and you strengthen different bonds. So, all of the issues that we were addressing in the last few years are back. So, um, just as a case study, so I can go through this part very quickly. Who, who was at my talk last semester? Anybody? Ask? Well, ten, okay, so only about half. So I'll go through this very quickly. So just as a case study in design, you can think about a package. So if I need to go to the next series, so oftentimes there's a lot of utility in thinking about that materials. Uh, I think oftentimes we get caught up in maximizing the cost of the product the PSA or the brand just can say the best value and the best this and the best value. So I get it, right? There's pressures and there's different things that we push in terms of getting things better. But 
So this is one of those ones that Stan Whitting had proposed. It has all these really great desirable properties, right? High theoretical capacity, multiple accessible redox states. We look for data and especially the really good material to start. Um, and the issue is that it's just terrible, right? It's full of reason that it's full of that really make it so that all of these things can't be used. Being a plan, all those different considerations to get better than all of our planning database, right? And so, what I think a lot of times is thinking about can you actually learn from why this is a bad capital material and make a good one? Uh, and so, right, there's a lot of other things you can learn about why it's bad and sort of pull on conditions. Basically, right, we reduce some of the data to the fact that it's still less committed in the region, that we can decide localize the seeds for electronic connectivity and electronic connectivity in the structure. Uh, you can see that from the calculations. Um, because of the phase transformations that that from this, right? So we get looking for the structure changes. I have a lot of in the and then if you track this type of cell on the white stage, you can see that you can actually see the electrode start again in gray and overall emission. You can also have the material on the same. But that, you know, emission on that, you can start with these images. Right? You can see this in terms of that structure, the color, the refraction, and all that kind of stuff. And so just to summarize, right? Where anything supervises and all that is happening, it's a problem. So what we did is we took these and the and so that's the that you can do is the circle that So if the union issue goes all the purpose, and so learning about our material performs how we use the That's one big way that you can for those of you who are having a question. Great. So um, I will introduce this part real quick and maybe we'll take a break. And then I'm going to go through part two, three, and the last part after eating. Is that cool? And I can always talk while you're eating too. Um, okay, so next, what we're going to talk about is, is why does open structure matter? A couple of examples. And this one's going to feel a little bit backwards. Okay? So just a warning, it's going to be a little bit much here because I indicated that. Uh, it's actually going to show you how the example here use, things, x ray or change, and then set up, and then use x apps, and then x ray or use. Because then in part three, I'll talk about the theory and it'll become a little bit more class. Uh, a little bit more, and hopefully, more than after, but we'll be a little bit more just the basic intro to what is extra trust. Because I know a lot of people don't think about that. And then I'll talk very, very briefly about the capabilities of the instrument that we have. Cool. All right. So I guess, uh, let's see. There. Uh, so we have a good idea if we have a good and then we can handle it with the option. Also, please, uh, only take the medication option that you can show up if you, uh, opt it or that in the registration form, uh, because we have limited options. So, uh, yeah, please go ahead. Yeah. So I have to press this on the side. Yeah, but you can put it forward. Yeah, but really good. Good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Exactly what you want to do. Is it, are you sure of that? Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We have a engineer. I did engineering. I engineering. Okay. Yeah, I also work in uh, so I won't be an expert, but I have just a few questions. One is um, uh, so I was reading an article recently, and they were talking about how uh, these batteries for school scooters uh, are being catching fire yeah. when they are charged. Yeah. Uh, so, but I was wondering if we were talking about the time running away, the charging and the heat, you know, during the capacity. Um, is this something that um, you talk about today or you have considered it? Very briefly. Uh, I, I I I'm happy with them. You know, like that, um, so I'm it's, not, it's, uh, it's not a focus of what I'm doing. It's one of those things where I always make the argument that you can always bring that back to the chemistry. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. Too, yeah, it's actually very important. Um, everything's based on chemistry. So everything's based on chemistry. Yeah. So a lot of the, what that thermal runway typically starts from is um, it can be started by one of two ways. It can be started from overcycling. It can be done from uh, battery aging or, or from impact. So you've also probably seen videos you know, people taking batteries and hitting them with a hammer, yes. it makes it work. Yeah. And so the, they talked about the gene of the batteries. Yeah. Yeah. But all three of those things, what they what they come from yeah. is contact between the end of the cathode. Mm -hmm. So at the end of so through aging, mm -hmm. what happens is you form metal spikes mm -hmm. that grow with each and every cycle. It's like the death of the battery. It's like, it's like how we age and we feel when we die. Yeah. Batteries form these membranes, yeah. and when they contact, it heats up, you get runaway of electrons. And then it's like mm -hmm. the same thing with um, over extending it. It's you can discharge the battery too much or overcharge the battery. It's the same people need their phones in the field all the time, right? And then it right, also form that way. And then if you contact it and you break it such that it touches and it quickly forced, that also Yeah, because uh, this summer I have this job for a company that, that is more into, right. thank you, that's more into fires and explosions. And uh, part of my research is looking at explosions, but I don't know much about the chemistry behind it. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I came in to look at uh, when you think about batteries, it's really exciting because right. at some point you're going to have battery. Uh, yeah, so the other question I have is uh, recently I did the presentation, and then you were talking about this uh, quantum computing. Yeah, yeah. 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 these days. Um, so and we're then, up sensing it, but it's, it's a similar idea. Yeah, yeah. so they talked about. Uh, so it was my first time sitting with a presentation about computing, and it talked about things going into the pot at the bottom level, or something like that, making the qubits and everything. Um, so when you're talking, when you're presenting today, I thought about if it's something that uh, is going to be striking in the age of chemistry and cutting as well, when you look at ions and everything about the yeah. quantum computing. So I'd say, I'd say, so there's, um, it's really interesting. So uh, computing. Current computing on silicon. Right? So this is all silicon semiconductor field that can use for this technology. Okay. Um, it's dying. We can get some pizza for you, chicken, gluten free or vegetarian. Um, chicken. If you want to just put it on a plate and set it aside, I'll eat after. Okay. okay. Uh, um, thank you so much. There, there would probably be a lot left, so I can just eat whatever's left. Yeah. That's not bad. Thank you. Um, so it's it's honestly it's like a horse race, right? We know this is dead. We only have maybe 10 more years of so runway with this. And so there's a couple of different technologies that are competing and they all do different things. So quantum computing is one. Quantum computing though, more often is not very much related to this. It's very different. Um, spin qubits are a little bit different, but um, ion conductivity and electron conductivity more so plays into what's called uh, neuromorphic computing. Neuromorphic computing is brain-like computing. Um, and the way that our brains compute is there's a synaptic um, gap, right? So you're from ag engineering, so maybe you've studied synapses before. Yeah, but but I, I also look at neural networks. Yeah, neural networks. But across the neural network, across the neurons in our brain, there's there's electrical signal, but the electrical signal is actually carried by ions in a solution. So this neuron fires and it sends sodium and potassium and different ions across the gap. And when the receptors on the other side get it, they get it. And so that's where ions come from. That sort of I actually think that sort of computing would be more common. But uh, there hasn't been any, any issue whereby the computing capabilities right now with the batteries and the ions and everything um, has been limited by the normal computers that will much fit maybe. Uh, the MOSFET's gone. Yeah, the supercomputers and everything. Yeah. Computing. Yeah. See, I like I'm looking at I'm looking at it from the high performance side. Yeah. Of it. yeah. So on the high performance side of things, I think, and I I this is 
me being a chemist and not understanding things really, my understanding of quantum computing is that it's really good at something and it's really bad at other things. So quantum computers will never be able to do it. Because what it does is brute force cryptography, brute force number crunching, and brute force ready sort of sensing of, of solutions, but it can't do traditional more floating point operation computation. Um, I think probably supercomputers of the future will be a combination of and traditional outsider team. Thank you. Yeah, cool. yeah thank you. Yeah, it was great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, if you have any questions about battery fires before you start your thing, feel free to email me. All right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Otherwise, I'm just talking with my hands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I can, I can if it becomes relevant. If yeah. people ask questions, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to, let me see if we have a marker. So, so we have that board. No, I don't have a marker. I, I'll get that. I'm going to go fill up my water bottle. Is there a water fountain? Yeah, it's, it's over there. It's over there. We can, I can grab it from the now. You want to grab it from the now? Maybe, like, you can see here. Yeah, maybe I should grab from the lab. Okay. I can put some of the pieces for you. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, it's kind of far out there, but it's nice. Yeah, so just down here. Oh, I know. When you, but you don't realize it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, I can move over if I need to. Oh, okay. Thank you. If I if I if I can I really want to
You want to start again? Uh, I can. I can now, or we can wait for a minute. So let everybody yeah. can so they can talk because we want people to talk. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of people here. We have to more Thank you. 
the silicon and making this in a good experience to just have to do in your life. Yeah, to make one side of it, where you spend time. Nobody else. Is there any model of the solution? There is a lot of model. I mean, that makes any sense, right? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, but should we be in your last one? So people in the last next few in front of themselves. So uh yeah, and maybe it's something like this. I think if you get from some work that you saw, you know what these are gonna actually happen at the level of thousands of months in your cell. It's not a thing, right? Because it's really easy to just throw a hole in that thing, go make it, slash and hack on the table moment, and then throw it into the R and pack the six. Okay, that's uh the last thing I some points out on the table. Um and that's this question. Okay, so okay. Okay, so I'm going to go through a couple of examples. And um, because there's a few on here, I'm going to throw in an example that's not at the very least. So I'm going to track them. Uh, so this is a product that I did. And we get kind of like a why, in this instance, local structure matters. Okay, so uh, we'll talk about that a little bit. I guess we'll be on this issue over the next little bit. But I create a fraction. What is an extra contraction for every month? Surely, you can write it in the most contraction, at least not there, that's not in the cells. Extra contraction, what is it actually for? Nobody has your top line asking for. Those sharks, right? Those sharks. Well, so let's say power, right? It's very less than the rest of the So they did that uh, sort of alternative to MOSFET, so the mental health system that we consider here. This idea is kind of material to that transition from the to the same state to the digital picture. It's still really good structure. The thing is, the structure is that we were measuring the setting about their mental conditions pretty reliably. And then we looked at the person who's done using a ball out of their vision. All this all is answer last in the respect that we get in the Yeah. Yeah, what about us? Yeah, So, really, really, um, so for us, what this is is a recognition of the mental experience. So uh, this happens in gathering capital materials. So if you take something like trouble cost, right? Then we know about the mental state transition in the body. So as you put the material and you start to talk about the dance, right? And as you do that material will get strong. It's actually backwards in those materials. You get easier about it. It's an isolator. And as you start to jump over the leaves there, you add electrons to the leaves. So what happens is you raise the current level, right? You get that to isolate transition at some point. There's enough current, there's enough charge barriers in the system to your own metallic transition. In cobalt, let's say it's actually backwards, it's kind of weird. Like CO for two rates of cobalt, let's say, doesn't really exactly exist, but really what we're going to do is the cobalt is actually out. And as we litigate it, you actually can trigger around all the situations that are happening. 
think that's kind of because it's short of the moment, but basically, um, you can launch transition from all of these and so on. And so, I mean, I've never done this with Adobe before, um, but I imagine that this means an LMC transition. So, for us, this image of current is basically showing that um, as we uh, raise the temperature, we're getting the transition from the planet site to the planet site. Basically, it's a lot of stuff. Um, and so this is really true. This is at the whole thing, right? The fossil metals of insular transition can be respected at first of all, they're too much. Right? This is a prominent pattern as well because you look at something for a surface level application, which really is a very different thing. And so what we've uh, gotten to is the lot of much that they're much more than two. You can actually think of this as having a certain transition in the right structure. Um, what we're really looking for is actually some more crystal reaction on the system. What you see is that in these models, this is copper energy. Uh, in these models, there's several components to sit there, right? And any other temperature for the copper can actually be fused across two very, very close to space crystal reactions. Right? So copper gets to live here when they're the temperature. But then as we heat up the structure, the copper starts to spend more time. So, copper is actually moving in very, very small distances, right? One few miles. Uh, that's, that's pretty small. And the, the movement on top of the table transition is through some days that you can actually contemplate and put the metal tensile transition. Uh, and so, we were like, okay, that's, that's interesting, right? Uh, and so, it turned out that if you dig into the local structure, right, you might get to do some hexadecks to it. Uh, so, when you're talking about hexadecks and theory, it's kind of some things and all that stuff. But what actually happens in the local structure? Is that even though the crystal structure is full, as a chain, and one of the pattern, and even if some of are very on the chain, the number basically the copper is the thing that's changed dramatically, right? And that also leads to a change in the top of the neons and the demonstrations. And so, locally, a lot of what happens in the single unison is actually happens in this, and that is how they're fusing through two different talks and straddling them once upon a day, and that's what they're triggering the other system. It's really cool. Not only do you have that, you see the way it is. The reason this is that we get an assassin micro index, right? The pilot requirement is not the difference between the two pilots, right? But what are most of the two pilots that are in the same perspective? We're actually trying to get a single index out, where even though the global interaction happens to be much more people on each other, what happens is the individual correlation can have a change on the individual index. Uh, and that would make a little bit more sense when you talk about what assets actually is. Um, and you can see that in a little bit more here, right? So these are the single crystal um, attraction uh, solutions that we have. And so depending on the copper concentration, you can see that the copper can spread that out across different states uh, in their different positions within the crystal structure. Uh, and that's kind of making from the metal oxide transition to our and things like that. Um, okay, so just to torture you all, we can do this in that case. All right, so here's an example. This isn't my paper, right? This was a recent intercommunication paper, and I wanted to highlight a couple of different things. All right, so in this material, what they were looking at is manganese oxide. Uh, so throughout this paper, what you'll see is comparing the manganese oxide to the material. So what we found is that the same activation in this material is right? So land is so this is a land uh, And so what actually happens is, is you take an anti oxide and you turn it into an anti oxide. And here it is in the next But if you know anything about chemistry, then it's so easy for us because we want to know what it is. Because what happens is, layers have to start going down. And then what happens is, after going in, the layer of anti oxide actually slips down. Right? And it causes the nation to have to dive all the way to the this is a big issue. And so, what they were doing is they were looking for a way to modify the local structure such that you could facilitate sodium ion generation without excess, without slowing the layers that are going to keep you some points in the middle of the chain of the crystal. So, the original thing is basically I'm very invested in the internal thing. Uh, a lot of the different transition metals, a lot of the other ions into the layer structures, so the integration. What we're trying to do is the potential person seeing the data from the paper is if you set up these and you try to do it in the end, you go through the whole time and just hold the bar and start. And to do this, there's a couple of things, 
And so we measure this in function of this uh, phase transformation. So in the case of sodium and oxide, I'm going to find this figure here. That is phase right here. When we go to the series of phase transformation for function of sodium and oxygen, those are phase transformations that we can see in the ball structure are due to a change that is in the lower term. So it's actually the exact same. But if we interpret a little bit of the passing structure, this is actually coming in. It's a very small amount of passing, but it's zero on maybe 85% of all the site passing. What that does completely mitigates that new transformation of the region. Okay. Uh, so we know it should well, so the the uh, uh, so basically what they're doing here is they're using XMS to do protocol construction. And what they're able to find is that they see the correlations between the different correlations that I thought this was going to be about our role. They're looking at individual lengths, distances between pairs of atoms. And then these pass after you get the main specific pairs, uh, right? Uh, so we're going to be able to show that it's not the main structure, it's actually preventing this change is the passing. The end of the same year, for example, the local proteins, we're going to go overall, the bondments don't change much, they're going to be the same as going to be optimal. But what's happening is locally in the same passing, the bondments are changing. So what's happening is by putting the pattern in the structure, strengthening the oxygen bond, and strengthening the oxygen pattern, as we get sloppy and structured in the computer visual structure, so that when we get this sort of structure, it's not that big thing that we don't have. So what really brings this entire thing together, and we just carry it into the business, is that the ability of next steps in the local structure to show that we are able to do the local structure. Okay, this is another paper by Chris Tapper, which is the here you can see it on there. Uh, and I want to share that this is a show of how these values are actually done. So, XAS, XAS, and XAS are the piece that we're talking about here later. Uh, what's really nice about them is that you can use this element of data as a function of this to look at really how the second is that an operating in the flow of what's happening in the data. And so most of us are used to looking at this sort of fish structure where right? things can kind of look like this, you can see it's kind of long, right? Which is the fish structure and check the check on the top of And you can actually sit here at every individual point and take an XLS scan, an XL scan, and so you can really look at what's happening between the oxidation state of the drip, how is the bonding between the transition metal and the release changing as a function of the shell. And how does the local structure actually change the way that it works? Because the only change that we want is happening in the fall. With most of the failing methods, it's a highly unusual product. In animation, all the stuff that's happening is actually originating in things like the color of surface, originating in changes in the structure. So you can't see it necessarily from um, Right, so if you look at that, right, so here's some pieces of data that you've done this, and I'll show you the little slide to talk about the pieces of the data. Yeah. 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 They themselves are different things, and it largely depends upon the number of the Uh So, for example, my instrument, um, to get a synchrotron to all the spectrum, is to get anywhere between 10 and 1 to 10 and 1 concentration, depending on the right exactly, anywhere from 30 minutes to 3 hours. To do what you do with a synchrotron in 15 minutes, I have routine and the next act to Now, that being said, there are a lot of other paths, so there's a new one in that. I don't know which type of synchronous evidence. There are people who are involved in the sense that you can get like time to the next episode. It's able to get you to get extra interaction on sort of the next episode. Many of these after sadness or scale, right? It's like not having to get to the next episode. 
Um, but you can do this in the grass. Okay. Um, the people that are using this most should be doing that as well. Because I'm afraid there are people that are doing this that are really, really going to be solved to things that are going to call it a state university change. And so you want to think there's a lot. He's looking at how the reaction between primary cells. So, like taking two primary cells and connecting them to the and basically tracking the entire reaction in the same way. The content of the reaction will go every bunch of cells in the next one. So, they're going to be done. And they're going to get this chapter for all the Shit. Uh, it is one system. Uh, but that's super trying to raise a bit more than all the whole science or anything. Yeah. Because yeah. um, if you want to get into the knowledge stuff, there's it, it's no longer like the secret on this stuff, but all the things that are going to be connected and all the things that are going to be going on. So, if you want to get into something that you want to do, what you want to do. Okay. Um, so what you can do is you can draw an extra coordinates there and then there's a little point in the structure. Um, and you can do this with a lot of different analysis things into that. And then every single point in your point, you don't need to join things in there, you can also do that in the next cell structure. And so basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to look at small changes that take place as a function of charge in the structure. So we can know overall the average structure of the material. Doesn't change until the single batch. What happens over time locally is you get very, very small changes in local correlation. Very, very small changes in time that correspond to anti cell disorder, right? That correspond to the situation of the material. And you start to correlate and just to understand why you're using toxicity in this cell, right? There are various things that you have to look at, like loss of capacity, loss of performance, and things like that. But a lot of times you can talk about just changing the and what we're talking about. And largely, I'm kind of tied to these things in part because um, they have to start happening for me to do a lot of the to do the HCQs and things like that. And the past things like that. Um, okay, I'm going to turn them. Okay, I'm going to sit through this guy. I'm going to talk about the Hendrix. So if you want to talk about Hendrix, what that is. Uh, a little bit we can do that. Um, but for now, I'm going to stick with the topics in my career. Um, the interesting times, which is all of this stuff, actually, and it is how you do it. Okay. So, third slide here. We have a little bit of a little bit of a All right. So, let's start with this. So, and I didn't realize exactly that the 60% like, of our audience is modeling, so apologies for that. But so let's say you or somebody in your lab oh, you put this together at a cup. You get up to the site where and you get like 375 uh, in one hour. Congrats, right? That's awesome. Way to go. Um, but the capacity is there for you And then it explodes, you know, just for dramatics, just for fun, right? Uh, well, what causes the explosion? What causes the battery going on? Why did that happen? You have to understand why things work. Why did it all happen? You take a picture of the paper and you make something that's incredible. But there's just that little bit of a problem. You have to put it in your eye. You need to have a little bit of a mechanism. It always comes back to physical and mental and mental So, great. So, congrats. Don't play anymore. Play the wall. Play the wall. Play the wall. So, what are you going to do with this? This is true whether you're model synthesis or fabricate batteries or testing batteries, but I don't start with that type of thing anymore. It's true for me, it doesn't matter. Is that you need to be in your analytical tools to really understand something, to really make that one slightly different thing, that model that you develop is the lab's. What's actually happening inside of it is unknown until you open it up. So you trap the actual thing that you need to do with So you have to find any of these things and then these things are going to do. Right, so what tools do you have in this stuff? You have tools that you need to like read and read. You might have a few things that they want to talk about and actually have to do this. This is a kind of tool that you use for looking at the structure. Right, it's like how it's going to actually be. Either you look off them if you need a bigger thing, right? And you make it a zero and then you point it back and then you need to correlate it back and it matches something that you're doing somewhere. You don't usually want to do that. And 
Um, but more than that, as we look at the balance of the very much traffic, it's a call balance. Um, you can, you know, um, start to look at how things impact your substitution, and um, you can review the whole thing. Uh, so, this is the direct of China's long tier system against the district of Congress. So basically, what you're doing in the system is practically is you're shooting at your best sample, you're looking at the metrics of your friends. At the atomic level of that law, right, the same geometry I'd like to show you is in parallel with the law of the change that's happening in the long tail. Right, the answer is coherent, and that's all. Understand the function of the right? So you understand which x-ray is going to be this guy here. And the same thing is happening here. Right? So the next race is about to all appear in the class, so we've got to what that interference has, so we divide that off structure that comes out of the range that we're going to be in the next The point I make here is that more often, I would say probably the most of the time, more often than the channel is going to be in the Probably about 90 minutes, probably not the long way to the long way to the So typically what we're doing is we're looking at all these things. And the thing to remember here is that the shows are kind of actually kind of two extra times. It shows on the third slide. Um, and if you ask questions, and I know some of you probably haven't seen this before, don't even look at that because it's in the last class. Um, but it uh, is in the RF. But in any case, it kind of ends this kind of moving on. But basically, when the lady server can destructively interfere with the mouth, and when they constructively interfere with each other, it's peace. Reflections in that one direction. There's a lot of variations in the computer as well. You can think about when the repeats should occur based on how they appear. But at the end of the day, really what happens is in the crystal structure, you can arrange these patterns across the things. You can draw imaginary planes through them any which way you want. Now, based on the spacing between these points, the interaction law here that's well satisfied, and you can use. So, I think this is important to see because if you ever do power after the fact, you can be in a state where most of the time you sit up and you're sitting down in place, right? Uh, it's like, it's like a meeting kind of on, you're going to guess how many things you do. You've never heard of any things you do. I'm talking about things today. It's very uh, different. Um, but basically, it, it, it's just a little bit, right? Uh, but there's a lot of different things that you can get due to the other things, right? You can do all of these things when you're actually looking at solid structures. Uh, you can think about things like that are small, right? When you're if you're moving between the outside and the top right, and the right and you can track the change in the interaction pattern as much as what you can as well as your patterns more than you think about that kind of thing. Um, and where I'm gonna go is I'm setting this up because if anybody's ever heard of texture and analytical techniques, most often than not, the thing you learn from is right. Um, if you've ever heard of this. And so, setting these things up is very much getting to this is what I'm going to do. I want to get to what I'm all right, so is the end of the actual results. So, in the case of an x ray from a calculator, you more often than not, if you're using a copy of the right? You want to get fancy, you want to get that in stores, and that's the way to learn 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 to the fact that you can get an error of is your setting electrons from the core of the atom. So you're actually taking away the electrons that it wants most. And what I mean by that is these are the electrons that pass closer to the nucleus of the atom. And so they're down very, very, very tight, very, very tight. Right? And so because they're tight, it's easy to have a wavelength that is short. And that wavelength is on the same order as the distances between fence bars. That's the reason that this works. Where you can't use second nature for as you can you can't use the IR, you can't do the long wavelengths of that. Right? And so when you copy the alpha, the rate of which we use it, not the best form, the interpreters are defined, so then you can use these things like fixed wavelengths as a correlation with the distance of the two It's essentially what you're doing. Here's an example of what that looks like, right? So you're, you're pumping electrons out, 
from the KHL and the motion. Yeah, I want to get to the So, my favorite is to make the crowd and it's going to be the capacity. So, here's the first piece of the Has anybody done more material for this table? I'm not going to do that. I certainly have to make a lot of things. Uh, how do you care about that? Pain. What is that? Pain. 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 Uh, 
Structure needs a lot of different things, right? There's a unit cell that matters this and you can determine that with a variety of fraction based on each, right? So capture fraction, fraction, and the pairs of items that needs to have a lot of fraction, but it's very robust. But there's also a local or a unit structure, right? And you have to have your dependence in a certain way. Forget about the same things that happen. You can just use the IR or something, say, in law. Um, what this would have happened is we can think about designing capital materials for a record of such a thing like that. 
this key area to the nation's power. And that little power, 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 The decomposition and everything that's on this design and study and machine is really always in the context. And so, this is an example of data that you can collect. Um, but I'll actually look into the house for you, right? Um, so, you get, you know, the images right now that we have on top of the same thing that you can find in the The box says, if anybody knew that it meant that you should have been able to shoot the third, after the dimension of time, and the third was, and it's a fair opportunity to find one. We can look at not all these series down to type of features in the entire class that they are not here, but we're going to do this whenever we're looking at. We can also do that. So, so many of these are going to be used. We can all transition metals, which is really well cool and matter of each year later on, right? All of which are all going to be used in the metal, and we can have some of the ideas happening as we want to connect them as well. So, a lot of this stuff that we can do. And so, what the data actually looks like that we process these tools here, rather than something like this. And what this tells me, right, this is I'm sitting um, at the top of the area in Chicago itself, and I have a tower that I have a long distance of uh, about, right? So, you typically sit at that long distance between each other. Obviously, there's some lines that are surely longer than Chicago and Zirconia, this is kind of here. Um, you do the same thing at the Zirconia line, right? You just have some more issues from the top of the zone, but it's the same. Uh, and so, I think that this is a way out. Uh, here's an example of what that means. And then it's also like that. So, you can see that the bond distance is dramatically changed between the and oxygen. And the function of how is it being made? Right? So, I think it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter how much you're changing, you're still splitting, you're changing the oxygen. It's just the way it's dramatically changing the bond uh, So, I think mean, that was a lot. You know, that was fast. It's a few times. It was considered a lot of weird applications in the world of for example. And for the past few years, I think it's exactly what I call it. I think it's a great name for the So, the international law staff works in an application system where if you have a good application, good reason to do measurements there, that, that mean time is 3D. Um, it was a bit of asterisk for that time. So, you know, uh, then we have the uh, way that they can do this right now. The way that this goes on is really important to me. It's funny because uh, the way that their stuff works is through how they compute it. They can't pay you. So they make you pay them a dollar on the staff to use it. <laughs> which kind of money will be like, you know, it's basically um, kind of an exchange of uh, the money that gets there. Uh, and it's just that they do this with two dollars. And they're really fast and things, and you get all the measurements that show you all the um, synchrotron units. And all the rest of the rest of the are all the same thing. But for a lot of applications where the uh, for a lot of applications where the beam damage is an issue, I'll put it that way. Right? Uh, we can consider using something that's low in the So this is a registry that we install as a uh, so here are all the elements that we can access, right? So we hit all of these along the green. Uh, the shading here has to do with whether or not it's actually absorption or transmission. Uh, we can access, you can see all the virtual transition models, a lot of the elements that are better than the image storage and the analysis. Uh, we can get a lot from the uh, bio testing and the uh, Fortunately, we can't get the temperature, so we can't get the salt, you know, like you're using it and everything like that. Uh, but we can get it just like that. Um, and just to show you a little bit, and then I'm still going to get um, batteries as well in some of these things. Just to show you how easy it is. So, we're working on getting an operator, an operator setting that you can do like half circuit control, right? And being able to put, you know, gas and heat cell locations, but we're going to have to go and measure that to mess with a bunch of that and stuff like that. Um, but for now, we can largely go over into these like 300 something cell or three, we can pump cell. This is really easy. So, you typically make your cells like this. All you need to do is draw a whole new model on this, right? And then to seal it, you get the time, you should have to do that. And we can measure that for that reason. Uh, different things. So, it um, should be should pretty simple. So, if you're using any of these things, um, you want to send them to the model and see what you can get. So, that's all the thing. So, all the, um, you know, like I said, kind of the end of this stuff, something that happened. Laura is collaboration, right? Trying to work 
Where is it doing? Where do they have a loss of money? They have a loss of money. Um, but what we found is that we 